You know that thing they talk about uh, a lie, uh, that when you say one lie, you need a thousand lies to keep that lie going. It's really what is going on now. Uh, I, I just saw uh, this tweet that someone did, where he said, the director, voter intelligence and strategy, PDP Presidential Campaign Council, Osita Chidoka, revealed that President Bola, I hate when they use that word president, Bola Metinibu, as far as it's the APC presidential candidate, Bola Metinibu swore to an oath that he did not attend primary school and has no secondary school certificate, and that the only certificate he has was the one from the Chicago State University. And if I, if I could remember, uh, even the Keyamo himself, right? Keyamo himself was defending it. That, I think that was where he said that, uh, uh, what do you call it now? Uh, where he said that, um, how did he put it to? That Bola met, uh, uh, Tinibu did not attend and he was homeschooled, sort of like he, he did something. I'll try and see if I can find if I can find that, so where's the primary? Where's the primary? I just, I just explained that for you now. You're confirming to us that he didn't go to a primary school. Is that what you're saying? He, that's, he, 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 he did not reveal it. it. I'm just telling you that he did not reveal it. But I'm telling you that in those days, it does, you don't have to go. You don't have to. They reach a party. So, yeah, he home. did say that uh, uh, Bola Ahmed uh, so, uh, uh, was in school. So, which one is all of this? Yes, yes. yes. secondary school. Okay. That Bola Ahmed has yes, in SU uh, that, that he used to enter Chicago is, State University, the one that, that he even attended the secondary school. That you used to know that the certificate of the secondary school that they read from home at that time. Ah, things are just so crazy. The things that we just allow, honestly, this whole issue, it's really going to affect us as a nation if we just allow this thing to just go by it's really a serious issue it's this it's a serious issue you understand to have someone who is a certificate forger as the as the head of a, of a country and let's say the people allow the institution will allow that no way we're just going to criminal before the world we're sort of like going to criminalize ourselves and put ourselves in such a difficult position where every Nigeria when you say something they'll be looking at you your credential your all our integrity is going to be at stake and that we must not allow because of one person no one person is more than the kind